pod housing should be used for more than just rough sleepers and could provide a low-cost home for young people, advocates have said. The debate over whether people should be housed above Oxford's car parks was sparked again by students who revealed plans to use the scheme as temporary accommodation for homeless people last week. Elise Benjamin, a former Lord Mayor and Green Party councillor, said Oxford City Council had had an opportunity to trial pod housing for free in 2016 but voted against the idea because of concerns about air pollution and the possible need to extend car parks upwards. The Greens' research shows residents wouldn't be any more adversely affected by pollution than those living on a main road and have continued to push for the scheme to be trialed. Ms. Benjamin said, It's an exciting idea to build pods for homeless people but we still very much believe they can be a solution to tackle Oxford's housing crisis as well. In many ways they are a perfect option because they are closed to transport links, do not take any space and can be built cheaply and in an environmentally friendly way. Staff shortages in key areas such as healthcare and teaching are well known and one of the main reasons is because it is so expensive to live in the city. We are limited in what we can do by geology and geography and we need to be more creative with our solutions, Ms. Benjamin said that when she first campaigned for pod housing to be trialed, people were very open to the idea of living in one. She added that gardens and allotments could be built on the first floors of the buildings as communal spaces for people to mix and meet each other. The concept has come back into the public eye after architecture students at Oxford Brookes University developed Zed Factory's original concept as a solution to the ever-worsening rough sleeper problem. Tailor-made pods would be constructed over Worcester Street Car Park to temporarily house homeless people as a way of helping them transition to more stable accommodation. The idea sparked debate among Oxford Mail readers with some backing it as worth a try, with others claiming it was unworkable due to cost and logistics. Kate Cocker, the director of Crisis Skylight which partnered on the project said, the lack of affordable housing is becoming an increasing issue in Oxford. Whilst the work of our organization is always to try and find a permanent answer to end someone's homelessness, we know that temporary solutions can often help people reach longer-term stability. So many new houses in the city and that requires a range of solutions and creative ideas.